Okay, there is no level 8 magic in this town like I thought there is. Uh, there's there's got to be a separate town with it. But first what we want to do is head back into our canoe from the town of Onlac up here. And are we going to find new enemies because it's a river? Uh, oh, this is the first time we found an Ochu. So we do technically have a new enemy, but it's going to be easy as hell and probably is going to die from now on. Yeah. Um, yeah, the river enemies aren't too tough now, but we finally did encounter the Ochu and a crocodile, which is always fun. Oh no, whatever will we do with this waterfall? We'll just go straight in it with a canoe. Why the hell not? Why not? Do we have new enemies in here? We do have the clay golems again, but there are three of them, so it should be a little bit tougher, but, you know, something we've seen before. Okay, now this place looks like a maze, doesn't it? Okay, so we want to go lower left. And we get into a fight, and oh, clay golems again. Yeah, this place can get kind of confusing, as you can see, because I've already gone the wrong way. What new enemies do we have now? King mummies! Yes, this is the first time that we have faced king mummies. Do I want to use a Daya? Yeah, why not? You know, I got seven of them now, and I might as well, as well as a fire too, because I'm sure that's what they're weak to, because they're zombies and mummies. Those are all kind of undead-ish. And by undead-ish, I mean they're weak to, to Daya. And probably holy, but, you know, I want to say holy. Daya 2 should kill off one of the mummies. And then I believe Fire 2 will take care of the king mummies. Yes, it does. We get a decent amount of experience in Gil for that. Nothing too much, though. And then... Leave. Oh. Oh. Keep going this way, so we can find more clay golems. And we keep going. I mean, there's so many dead ends in this little waterfall cave. Who would have figured all this would be behind a waterfall? We've seen nightmares, and we know that Finny refuses to hit them. And I get the sinking feeling that I will be going the wrong way eventually. Oh, oh wow, five ways. Good lord. I think I want to go to the upper left. And we find a green dragon here. These guys are not to be taken lightly. Um, I'll, I'll let... I'll just do a regular attack just to show you, so you guys can see what happens. Yeah. These guys are not very nice. Uh, they give you a lot of experience and a lot of guilt. Uh, more than the evil eye, in fact. Um, but still... Good lord, did that do a lot of damage. And of course, I stop and take one more step and I get in a fight with a nightmare. Okay, from here you want to go down. And hopefully this will lead us to the exit. Ow! Enemy strikes first, I hate you! Okay, so we want to keep going straight down into another fight. Further and further down we go. Okay, I'm encountering a problem I did not think I would come across. I'm killing everything in the first round, which is usually nice, but it doesn't give me a chance to, to use my healing rod. Now, this is a scripted fight right here. It's against enemies that we've all faced, that we faced before, all of them. Um, the cockatrices are probably the weakest ones. The king mummies are probably the strongest. Um, I, I still need to use the healing staff, um, but I want to use ice three on them because there's a lot of them and even though the the pyrolisk uh it does have an upgrade attack it has a rub attack or something like that that uh, is an instant death and we are protected against that we are not protected against stone though so i will definitely need to use magic on these guys hopefully ice three is enough to finish them off it should be for all the birds, at least. Let's continue using the healing staff, and then we'll just do a regular attack to finish these guys off. Gotta keep that HP up at all times. Every little bit helps. Not enough to finish them, but de definitely when loot comes in, it should be enough. Yeah. Look at that, 600 damage on a 6-hit combo. Luke has definitely improved. Okay, so for that fight, we get a spellbinder, a ribbon, 
13,000 gil, 6,000 more, 5,000 more, and a defender, and a golem, and a random encounter. Okay, let's actually try to talk to the golem. Stop running away. Take this cube defeat. Tiamat? We have to fight Tiamat in this game? Uh, okay, and for our trouble, we get this, this warp tr cube. And then the robot kind of buzzes out. Kind of reminds me of the Seven Saga a bit. I'm not even going to lie. Alright, what is that warp cube? Can it warp me out of here? Nope. Figured. Okay, so uh, this what does give me a chance to, to show off warp too. It looks pretty cool, just like the, the warp at the back of the caves with the crystals. Yeah, just get the hell out of there. Okay, so now it's time to head back down to our airship. Now that we have all this upgrade equipment, which I didn't even equip. Hold on, let's see what we've got. Yes, he got the Defender. It's a sword with a blink effect. Plus, it increases his accuracy and attack. Awesome. Nothing really for anybody else, it looks like. But that's okay. What was that other thing that we got? It was called like a spell binder. It comes with muddle. Um, I'm not a big fan of muddle, so I probably won't be using that very often. There's the town we need to go to. So let's go ahead and head straight for it. Instead of going back to our airship, we've seen wyverns before. To the east and to the north, and we should make it back to town, no problem. Yes, back to the town of Onlak. So I'm gonna heal up, and then we will head to the east and possibly board that submarine looking thing. Be right back. Alright, we're back, and we're at the little yellow submarine. Oh, it's a barrel. Sorry. I thought we all lived in a little yellow submarine, but I'm sorry, we live in a little yellow barrel. And deeper, and deeper we go into the briny deep. Is this Atlantica? Are we gonna see Ariel and King Triton? And are we all gonna sing songs that annoy the crap out of me when you have to listen to it every fucking day? And was it? It was called the sh Sunken Shrine. Is there anything here? I don't think there is on this first little floor here. Um, it looks like there could be paths to the right, but I don't believe there are. And, but there are enemies here. What do we have? We have white sharks, but I get the preemptive strike, so I have the feeling they're not going to be living long. That's just a thought, though. Just a thought. Down they go. Holy crap, that's a ton of experience. Those guys must have been tough. Okay, do we have anything this way? We do, we already have treasure, sweet. We have 2,000 gil there, nothing, nothing on that side. Let's go over to the left side, hopefully fight some new enemies. We have a water naga. I don't know what a naga is, but it dies by fists. It's very prone to fist death, so that's how you deal with it, I guess. Do we have more enemies? The encounter rate here is pretty high. No, it's another water naga. Okay, what do we have here over to the left? Nothing, nothing here, but on the next level up, we do have 9900 gil. And any new enemies? We do. We have a sea, a sea troll and sea scorpions. Interesting. Um. Uh, you go ahead and use the gauntlet, and uh, we'll show off the spellbinder. Why not? Wait, did nobody equip the ribbon? Isn't that like one of the best items in all of Final Fantasy? Why does nobody have it on? And of course, metal does not work on anybody. But bolt 2, I bet, does. Look at that damage. Sweet. Down goes at least one of the sea scorpions. There goes the other one. And of course, the sea troll can, can heal himself. Sometimes we protects against special attacks. Okay, that's weird. Um, 
we'll just use the healing staff and then uh, you just can attack it since I'm pretty sure it's gonna die this time anyways. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, now I am confused why nobody has the ribbon. Let me let me check that. Clip and was a I'm gonna put it on anyways, simply because it's a freaking ribbon. It's one of the best things in all of Final Fantasy. I wanna put it on, damn it. Just one white shark. Yeah, it looks like I am uh, quite overleveled for this for this dungeon, but I'm okay with that. Leveling up didn't take me that long this time. There's nothing in there. What the hell? What do we have over on the right side? I do know I need to go back down a bit because uh, I did miss any sort of treasure that might be down here. There is a door down here. Hopefully it leads to some treasure. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Ah, that's a bit of whammy. And then I believe I do need to go down to this one here. No, I think I've been to that one. And holy crap, what the hell are all those? Okay, um, there's a prince in there. I don't think we've even seen the, the Sahagin chief, even. But, um, there it is. I'm just gonna hope that Bolt 2 does quite a bit of damage here. Enough to take out most of them, just like I thought. Um, wow. That's easy as hell if you've got the if you got the gauntlets. And down they all go. Uh, yeah, they don't get very many very much experience or yell, and I believe we've been here. Yes, we have. Okay, so we need to go back up. I did see some stairs up there. And we'll definitely need to take those up to the next level after I'm sure we've explored all of this level. <laughs>